Hey, my little pumpkins, I got a lot more to update for you um, since actually the, the last little update video we did just a couple days ago. We kind of got a little wild. Uh, we handed Becca Boo the park. We've got actually uh, my one of my mods, Cybris. She has the park right now uh, as we're actually filming this. So she's going to try to come up with some mischief for me. And uh, yeah, so I kind of was thinking back when I visited a state park in Virginia over the summer. It's called the Natural Bridge State Park. Um, it's just a few hours away from here, actually, and we just rarely, rarely get up to it. And um, was kind of just messing around with some terraforming over here. And I thought this would work out pretty cool as maybe a segue to another section of the park, maybe another land, maybe the South American area that remember we've been talking about for a while, maybe starting on it. I know, I know we've kind of, uh, we've kind of abandoned Glacier Ridge on you guys right now, but I just, I don't really have a lot of focus over there. Um, you know, I, I really like the penguins and stuff, but I just, I don't have a lot of ideas for that area yet. Um, even Leaf even started a really, really awesome exhibit over here for me with a killer bridge and tunnel, but I'm not ready to kind of start fleshing this out more yet. Uh, our attention has been more towards this tunnel and what I'm about to show you uh, next is the extension of the African area. So of course, first we'll show you, you've probably been seeing this in a couple updates, but look, Leaf has brought in an African penguin exhibit, which is absolutely killer. I love how it's I love how it's tucked away up against this mountainside and he did all their little houses over here. That is just it just fits right here really, really good. Really just kind of saved me from cramming a gift shop in there or some kind of restaurant. It like really, really kind of boosters Lost Creek's animal roster. And that's, you know, that that's really, really cool. And then uh, our newest, newest expansion, something I am very, very just thankful that these guys come in and build for me, but Becca Boo, um, she has her own YouTube channel and we'll link it down below. She has made me this abandoned poachers camp where the, uh, the hyenas are actually the features, uh, the featured animal here. Um, they have came in and ran out all of the poachers out of this camp. And they're over here taking naps right now. But she has come in and we've got this overhead walkway. We've got this glass, uh, we've got this glass underlook kind of over here where their tents were at. And you can see they've got some cages and stuff strewn about. But um, the hyenas came in and made some short work of the stinking poachers. And uh, yeah, they've kind of claimed this new little area as their, uh, as their new little home. And she also came in and did me a waterfall. She truly knows S-Dance style. <laughs> really, really awesome little watering hole here for the hyenas. And I just love this fencing. We've got some different little glass areas kind of poking through where you can look in on them. I love this overhead walk here. I just, I really want to try that more, getting some more overhead and some, and some animal passages, you know, and look how seamlessly she tied this together with Wyatt's Land of the Lions. So we've got the lions over here. We've got the hyenas now. They both kind of share this spine. I am just really, really just stoked with this whole area. Just, I think it just came out killer. Really, really looking forward to expanding the African area even more. Remember, we had talked about we need to get the giraffes back in here. Um, there's just all kinds of things we can still do out that way. Um, we have a really, really low primate presence right now. Um, remember, we wouldn't really have any anything if it wasn't for BZ coming in and um, and doing his lowland gorilla habitat for me over here, you know, so I am, uh, I'm just really, really excited to still get in here and get work done in Lost Creek. And as a matter of fact, uh, another update I have to show you all that we did on stream uh, Thursday evening is, check this out, 
Lost Creek is starting to have a little parking lot in an entrance area. So I thought that this was going to be like just a uh, kind of like a slower tinkering type of live stream. And we found this awesome blueprint online on the workshop. As a matter of fact, let's just make sure we give a, a proper shout out on this because it was such a wonderful little starting point that really kind of just gave me a, just gave me that jump off to try and do a parking lot for Lost Creek, which has never happened ever since we started it. Um, let me see if I can just find it real quick for you guys and make sure that I pronounce this correctly. Like I said, I know I tell you guys I need to go through and get rid of some of these ones that we don't really use anymore, but I hate to get rid of a I hate to get rid of your all's good blueprints because I, you guys know I'm I'm a I you never know when I'm gonna reuse something. I don't like to get rid of blueprints. Yes, this is Stanox, S-T-A-N-O-X. Stanox's car park is what Stanox calls it on the workshop. And it's got a little roundabout, it has parking spots, and uh, I just kind of come in and add, and I kind of took uh, Becca's little waterfall and added uh, added some scenery and stuff to the to the little roundabout. And now we have we have started a legit little entrance. Brought Jonah's little Lost Creek uh, billboards out here. Bold and I were talking about how it's really really. Um, it's really, really fun to go back into some of these zoos and some of your, uh, some of your parks and get advertising billboards up and stuff, you know, that you see in zoos all the time. Here's Maggie, Maggie and Big Brody hanging out. I'm so glad we got him a little friend in here. He is massive though, isn't he? That is a massive grizzly bear. Big Brody. He's a cutie. He's a big fella. <laughs> but yeah, so that is kind of the mischief. If you guys, uh, if you, you can watch the, uh, the last little January update video I did. We take a look at um, the elephant expansion that we made happen. Uh, remember, we took out the big tree of life and we kind of got that going. But it seems like right after I did that update video for you guys, I had the thought of the natural tunnel, natural cave here, natural bridge, natural tunnel cave bridge. So this is kind of, you know, it's, it, it's essentially if you were up here, you could pass through these two ridge lines. So that's why you kind of get the uh, it gets the uh, the uh, the the uh, name Natural Bridge. <laughs> so really, really like how that turned out. Gives that gives that whole back area of the zoo so much character back there. And then of course, who knows what's going to end up back there as far as animals go and theming. You know, one of the things that uh, that Bold was saying on the stream a couple days ago might have might have just been on Thursday. Um, she said, how has this park, how has this zoo gotten so big? Like it's, it's really gotten this large just under our noses, you know? It's just, we just kind of kept rolling with it and adding and doing live streams, you know, working on it two or three hours at a time here and there. And um, yeah, it just kind of, kind of blew up on us, didn't it? Just the ideas, um, the ideas kept flowing. Here's Val and Earl over here with one of uh, Bongo Hardwood's red crowned cranes. Big boys. Really one of my, well, probably one of my funnest exhibits in the whole zoo. I love Val and Earl's whole little habitat here. And you've got the little glass section where you can look at them through. And they're like little, uh, they're little bronze masks. And of course, we have our little tortoises over here. You know, this would be cool one day if I was, 
if I was talented enough to do like netting, to maybe even put some kind of monkey in here, you know, wouldn't that be cool? Or if we even get birds one day, to have some kind of birds in there. Might have to look at that. I might just have to, to give it a try or see if Haribo has any, uh, like has any tutorials out there for netting. I really wish, I really wish we had real netting. Like I wish Planet, I wish Frontier would design like a netting type of system, you know? Oh, another thing you guys haven't seen even since that last update is I added some more lagoon space to the Gator Trail. <laughs> so they have some more, uh, they have some more swimming air, swimming room now, which is what they really, really enjoy. So kind of, kind of glad we got in there and just gave them some more water, just some more area to kind of swim and play around in, you know? Sliding back down. Really, really love the textures on these guys. Look at that snout. Look at that texture. Oh, hello. <laughs> Are we in your way? Pretty, pretty animals. Look at that little bit of like aqua tinted green underneath the eyeballs. Really, really awesome. Big old feet. Look at those webbed feet. Not definitely not a lagoon you would want to go swimming in, would you? <laughs> Probably want to skip this this little watering hole. Of course, I guess people in Florida and stuff that go to those springs, you're probably, who knows how many alligators you're probably swimming with and they don't even pay you any mind, you know? <laughs> it's just kind of like they say when you go to the beach. You go to the beach and swim in the ocean, like you'd never, you would never get back in if you realize like how many sharks were probably within 30 yards of you or 50 yards of you, you know? They're just, you know, typically just not interested in us. Love, love, love the elephant yard, though. This just came out so freaking cool. And that they, and that we, you know, we thought to put in the little water section. Uh-oh. <laughs> here comes, here comes the cranes. These guys, like, run the show. <laughs> Like even the elephants are like moving out of their way. Tied over in the bushes near the the uh, birdhouses. Remember though, I got those off the workshop. Those are Haribo's little birdhouses. Look at the cranes are like, what y'all doing? Um, a couple of my buddies on the stream uh, last night said this little spot right here this would be a good shot for a, uh, a uh, like a Suyana style live stream. Maybe we'll do that on Monday. We'll park the camera right here and we'll do us a Lost Creek live stream, um, just like we did with the wolves uh, about a week or two ago. I think this would be a good little spot to set the camera um, because the, the elephants, they spend a lot of time right here. The cranes come through here a lot. You'd have a good shot of the uh, of the natural bridge. I think this is be a really really good live stream shot. Got the watchtower in the in the in the uh, top of the ridge. So look out for that. Maybe on Monday before I go to work, we'll set that up. I know you guys like to stop by and and check in on those. But yeah, guys. So I you know I don't, I don't want to keep bugging you with these like you know <laughs> almost you know every two day updates, but we get a lot going with these, uh, with, with, you know, when we really start. So, but um, long story short, Cybris has the uh, park file right now. And if you've not seen her on Twitter and what she comes up with, with some of her landscapes and some of the foliage, you, I, I mean, I already know before I've even seen anything, 
we are going to be in for a treat. And uh, as always, big shout out to Leaf and Wyatt Workshop and Becca and BZ for their contributions to Lost Creek and anybody who I've uh, given a shout out for helping me with blueprints and, and different ideas. Um, definitely can't thank you guys enough for keeping this zoo going. It's quickly become uh, one of my favorite projects. I love, I'm just giddy when we come into Lost Creek. I just love, love, love this zoo and uh, kind of what we've made happen with it. So anyways, guys, yeah, if you don't mind, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you, guys. We hit over 18,000 subscribers. We actually did it on that live stream a couple nights ago. And uh, so really, really awesome that we made that happen. And uh, yeah, subscribe. Keep coming back and hanging out with us for some of this Planet Zoo mischief. I know you guys will enjoy all of what we get into on the channel. If you're anything into zoos and themed entertainment, thematic design, storytelling. Um, I, I know sometimes I go a little light on the animal side of it, but we try to make up for it with the storytelling and the, uh, and the immersive experiences here that we try to design on, you know, S. Dan Wolf channel as a whole. So really, really appreciate you guys coming back here and consuming the content and um, interacting with me and all, you know, all of that fun stuff, why we do it for. So anyways, guys, yeah, I will jump on out of here and uh, thank you for coming by and hanging out with me and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you. See you.